What's up, guys? Back with another episode of Barbells and Banter. So we recapped the weekend uh, at New South Wales Nationals, so the NBA bodybuilding shows. Uh, gave you guys a bit of an update on how my guys went, which was a really awesome day out. We spoke about uh, prep. We spoke about what it takes maybe to go into prep, some of the habits and whatnot that you would want to have maybe in check beforehand if you're thinking about competing. Um, we talked a little bit about Ben's powerlifting crew that are, uh, that are competing over the weekend. We obviously talked about nationals for my guys that are competing for that for their final show for the year. So there's a lot going on uh, with the SDC Fit team at the moment, which is really exciting. Uh, before you guys get into the episode, remember that the Your Fat Loss Cheat Sheet is on the website. Everything you need to know to you know, lose body fat, lose some weight, uh, and keep it off and have that choice of you know, where you want to excel and progress your physique in the future. So just head to the website and get yourself a copy. Hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, whatever platform you're on. Uh, perfect opportunity to support the podcast. And we thank you very much for that. And that is it. Enjoy the episode. I'll tell you what, man, that hours. You know how you're like, so I didn't have my second, no, hang on, third coffee yesterday. Um, and you were like, oh, I'm pretty tired. And then after standout, I went to like do something. I'm like, I'm just going to lay down for a second. And then I woke up and it was like 20 to 6. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Fuck, am I in that stage?" Have you seen all the stats about daylight savings? I oh, had like how bad it is for you. Thirty percent. There's a thirty percent increase in like car crashes the day yeah, after. Yeah, there's a wild stat on heart attacks too. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't want to go there because I'm like pretty heavy. It's wild. <laughs> pretty man. heavy for my size, but I'm yeah. I'm fit now. Health. Yeah, I'm fit now. How many steps? Uh, I don't track my steps. Just because you're a bodybuilder, I'm like fit means you walk a lot. No, nah, no, nah. I'm I'm smashing out like 220. So I go calories for the 15 minute period that I'm on the yep. the. It's kind of like a a hybrid between a stairmaster and a cross trainer because mm-hmm. you just like your knees just go real high. Yeah, you're basically just doing like mountain climbers for fucking glute builder. Yeah, well, I actually feel. <laughs> Do you kick your leg back? I feel my abs. I feel here. Yeah, yeah. So I actually uh, think I've um I've done something here. I don't know what cardio is bad for you. Uh, I didn't do it on the cardio, I don't think, but we'll just say it happened there, so I yeah. don't have to do it as much. Yeah, I've got this thing here, like I only want to stretch it. So. Yeah. It's like a spasm. It's only if I do this. Yeah, but I've been killing it on the, on the whatever we'll call it, the Crossmaster. <laughs> <laughs> the Crossmaster. Yeah. I got, I'm knocking out 225 calories in 15 minutes. Wow. So I work out, I do it in five minute blocks, and I'm mm-hmm. like, I have to do 70, at least 70 calories per five minutes. Yep. Yeah, and I was fucking heaving. The machine was like shaking on the ground. Because, you know, like I, I set this like playlist of songs mm-hmm. and they just get progressively more aggressive. Right. Yeah, that's good. It's forward thinking. And then the last, yeah, so the I'm last- not that organized. The last four minutes, I have to, bro, to do it. Yeah, just for the cardio. Yeah, I wasn't even going to do cardio yesterday and then I did some like posing and I was like, fuck, your physique's so mid. And then I just fucking <laughs> picked up my- Picked up my bag and slammed it next to the crossmaster, and I was like, "Let's fucking go!" <laughs> Nothing like a bit of self hate to get. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, just wasn't liking what I was seeing yesterday. I'm like, "Fuck this!" Just having a day. Yeah, I think like there's just phases of your physique. So you know, when you work hard and you're fat, and mm. it doesn't look any better. Yeah, and then you you make a change, and you're like, "Oh, it's pretty significant." But the next drop is the same. It's like it's yeah. not that significant for the work. So I was like, just having a day like that. I'm like, "Fuck this!" I'm like. There's only one way to fix this. Mm. Just have to work harder. Yeah. <laughs> my um I I'm in a little dip at the moment, like that. Just the like it's not it doesn't yeah. look that much better than it did. It should yeah. have accelerated <clears throat> really quickly and it didn't. Like, <sighs> yeah, it'll happen. That's yeah. yeah, that's it. It's just that Yeah. I wish it just happened every week, it's but I'm enough. not that kind of guy. I'd probably need another week and I'm traveling this weekend. So I'm like, eh, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm so committed. Well that'll come together to the traveling was, is tough just to organize. It's not like, it's not like I eat shit food or anything. Yeah. It's just like organizing your food and the training. Yeah. 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 Getting a workout in will be, I think. Like yeah. Tonight. Yeah. I'm going to have to train Friday morning and then the girls are on Saturday, but we finish at one ish. Yeah. So should be able to get a session in on the, Oh, the yeah. Saturday. You're staying on your own? Yeah. 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 Staying in a little service apartment with a kitchen. For nationals. That's it. That's it. I'm so excited, man. National Bodybuilding Championship. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. Even just the, the thought of it. Yeah. Just like flying and having yeah, a sick. group of... Yeah, it's good. It's going to be fun, man. Yeah. It's going to be so fun. Um, I think I've got yeah. 
four competing and two pluses because I'm looking after Jackson's clients. Oh, yeah. He's nice. competing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so it'd be, it'd be fun. Yeah. Are you going up and back or are you doing a day or night over? Nah, so fly up Friday and now we're actually driving back on Sunday. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'll tell you what, bro, the fly up and back thing. It's rough, oh, eh? Oh, that was... Did you regret it? Um, I didn't because I... The day was going perfect till the flight home. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I was just like, it doesn't matter. I mean, it still didn't matter. Like, But I forgot that we were going to lose an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I woke up on Sunday and like, I felt like I had a bender. Like, <laughs> felt like a, the day after the boys weekend. Yeah. It's like, fuck. Yeah. Two weekends in a row. <laughs> well, two out of three. And it'd be three now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that, that rocked me, man. And then, yeah, I haven't recovered from this hour of, that we've lost. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it funny? What do they say? It takes like a day to get an hour back, right? Yeah, but that's not true. It's not? Oh, I don't know. I don't feel better yet. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Because I think, <laughs> um, you know when you travel and you go on yeah, holidays? Yeah, yeah. So most people travel for like two to four weeks yep. and you go to like the other side of the world. So it means like if you go for two weeks, on the day that you're about to go home, you've just recovered from the jail. <laughs> yep. Yep. Surprise. Like, off you go. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's rough. Yeah, the... In my head, my brain's still like, that's 4.30 when my alarm goes off. Oh, yeah. It's like, no, but it's, it's 5.30. Yeah, because we're, promise. look, we're, we're, we lost an hour, right? So it went forward. Mm. Yeah. Amy's like, yeah, but like you're going to sleep uh, normal. I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's true. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. Are you working later? I'm working later. Because I'm like. I'm getting to like four o'clock. I'm like, fuck. I thought I still had more time. Yeah. I've been working at like six and I'm like, yeah. the sun's still up. Yeah. Uh, I've been like, going to bed when it's still light. Yeah, okay. It hurts my feelings. Yeah. I'm going just to bed. That's only going to get worse. What time do you go to bed? Nine. About quarter past eight. Oh, yeah? Mm. We get up earlier. Yeah. Mm. We go to bed at like 11. Yeah. At 10.30 maybe. Fuck. I'll, there's no chance I would make it that late. <laughs> 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 Zero possibility of that. I I like the idea of going to bed early. It just yeah. doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, by the time like Steph gets home, she has a decompression period, and then we have dinner, and yeah. then we either do something together, or you know, she does what she wants or works or whatever. Yeah, it's like, and then we come back at like nine thirty, have an hour, mm-hmm. and then it's bedtime. Yeah, that's can't LJ's, break that cycle. LJ's again; he's been pushed back as well. Yeah, so he's normally asleep ish by seven. Yeah, now that's like seven thirty, seven forty. Last night I was like walked out of his room at quarter to seven. <laughs> Have my paddle pop. Latest on the bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's great. There was no downtime. Zero television time. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to tell you a bunch of TV shows to watch, but yeah, it doesn't sound like you watch them. Useless. No. Yeah. I'm- and I'm so fucking, what's, sensitized? <laughs> the opposite of desensitized? Mm. Mads watches Prison Break, or she's watching at the moment. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good series. Bro, I can't handle it. Well, because how bad the acting is? No, nah, just I've watched fucking James May does Japan and Top Gear and fucking mm. Clarkson's Farm and shit for eight months and all podcasts or Rick Shields. Yeah. So music, drama, fighting, yelling. I'm just like, Ugh, what, why is this yelling at me? It's, oh, so, yeah, it's right. so overwhelming to watch normal television. Yeah. It's really strange. I love a good show. Yeah. I'm watching a penguin at the moment. Amy was watching The Rookie. I've heard of it. Yeah. And there was like a, a fucking gun shootout. And I was just standing st- standing there like a child, just like staring at the TV like. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's so loud. Look, I've been watching a lot of that fucking war in Israel shit. So I'm not. Yeah. I'm very sensitized to violence. Yeah. I watch this thing called Grand Thumb as well. So they basically just like review guns. Yep. And they just blow shit up. Like, yeah. Like, oh, how, how. I could watch that. I think it's more like the music. Like yeah. the tension. Like that. Mm. I'm just like, why am I stressed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I watched a dude make a AK forty seven into a fifty caliber rifle and just blow up like see how many see how many uh containers of milk he could blow up or some yep. shit. Yeah, it was pretty cool. In a line. Yeah. yeah and he was like, himself. Oh, he didn't even he was too scared to like pull the trigger because he was scared the gun would explode. Yeah. So he got this like piece of string. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, That's the kind of shit I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I might die, so like, I'm gonna stand over there. Pull the trigger though, you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> if you're getting like fifty thousand dollars from this video, I want to see you pull that trigger. <laughs> <laughs> take a chance, bro. Yeah, come on, man. Take a chance. Two million subs, you've got to take the risk. Yeah, it might get more subs. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> Blow your arm off. Imagine the video. Imagine it'll go fucking viral. See that kid crashed a McLaren <laughs> while I was filming? 
No, I I saw the thumbnail, but I thought it was clickbait. Yeah, I I haven't only read the heading. I was yeah. hoping you'd seen it. No, so give more no. context. No, I just yeah. thought I saw it. I, I, that happens all the time. This crash, this this famous person can't drive. Crash this car. Yeah. Like, eh. Apparently, he was on the phone, and then he like filmed the passenger, and the passenger was. All oh, I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was bleeding and shit. Yeah. Not good, bro. Yeah. We'll come back. Mm. But then, yeah, for the views. I mean, I haven't seen it, so I can't. Yeah, shouldn't said that. <laughs> Jump my gun. Jump the gun. Was it Jake or? That no, was the other one. Yeah, he went. They went into the forest where mm. they hung themselves in China. Didn't yeah, go uh, well. Japan, sorry. Didn't go, didn't well. go well. We still He's back. Yeah, yeah prime. Didn't go. Like billion yeah, didn't go shit. well. But yeah, yeah, still ripping people off. Is the Jake Tyson fight done? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Didn't he hurt himself? I think Tyson got hurt. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Mm. Not. I'm not down with that shit. I think that's that stuff's stupid. The whole YouTube boxing. Idea. Yeah, I think it's just a clout thing. It's like people are just like. 100%. Yeah. It's not actual good fighting. Yeah. I don't think people care. Yeah, it just, it just blows my mind. Yeah. I don't think... It's people outside of the sport watching it, which is more... Agreed. There's more of them, so yeah. I get it. Like, there's... You know, gonna, yeah. going to be you know, reeling in, like, way more views, mm. more money. But yeah, as a... I'm not... I wouldn't call myself a fighting purist, Ben. Yeah. But I do enjoy, you know, when two yeah. prime athletes who are Can masters pop. of their craft... Yeah. Go at it. Yeah, you like watching anyone that's phenomenal at whatever they do. Yeah, man. Did you, you're not into the UFC, are you? Nah, so I was actually just about to say, I saw a really cool point the other day that like whoever the dude is now that's winning. Pereira? Like is winning by submission, so no one cares. Um, oh, that's that. Um, he's like Khabib 2.0. Yeah, right. no one cares about that. Yeah, because he's like, yeah. Schultz was just like, the, it's not fun the superstars and when the brand moves forwards is when a striker's winning. So Alex Pereira is the man. Yeah. So he's the light heavyweight champion. Mm -hmm. And um, he was like a kickboxer back in the day. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, he kind of like stopped training. And there's like this story where he was just like sitting in a bar, like just drinking. Yeah. And then Adesanya calls him a bum because he beat him in the kickboxing. So he just like puts the beer down and just goes and trains and then fights in the UFC, whoops his ass, goes up to the next like uh, weight, uh, light heavyweight uh, division. Yeah. Whoops that guy's ass. Two-time division champion. Jesus. He's defended the belt like three times in a year. The man is like the scariest dude ever. <laughs> he just looks like he's made to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just, that's all he wants to do. Mm -hmm. And he's just so calm and composed about it. Yeah. Yeah. He's a real good fighter too. Yeah. So yeah, he touched this dude up on the weekend. Oh, like his face was mangled, dude. Oof. Like his eyelid had an eyelid. Yeah. And under his eye, yeah. under that same eye had another like opening. Yeah. And then the dude was like talking and like this piece of flesh just came out of his nose while he was talking. It was disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, props to the dude because he did knock him down. Yeah. Like Pereira down, but yep. Pereira just, just upset him. He just got him tired. And mm -hmm. then in the third round, he was or fourth. And he was just fucking a human punching bag. Yeah. Like, and he was just touching him up. He could have kicked him in the head. He could see it. He was just bashing him because he could. He was just playing <laughs> with him in the end. Fuck. Because he was trying That's to go terrifying, for the, he was trying to go for the head kick the whole fight. And then when the dude was tired and just messed up, like he was just hitting him. Yeah, I like, wonder if it's just like if I do this, you could die. Arms down. Oh, I don't think they care about oh, that. He just like, <laughs> no, he's just kicked a lot of people you. in the head, bro. Yeah, but uh, like you see, some of them like limit the damage. <laughs> he was not. He was having fun. It was like a cat. <laughs> you, know, you know, when like a, a cat like maims a bird or a yeah, mouse yeah, and yeah. it just plays with it. Yeah, and that, he was doing that. Fuck. He was just hitting him in the stomach and. In the head, and you know, it's just like, I'm um, do this to you, fall over. And then the guy just got, he just hit it, he just over. That's yeah. it. Hands in the head, cowed on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. And they, he's defended his title three times in 12 months. Yeah. It's to fight every four months. That's gangster. It's so gangster. Not even. Fight every two and a half because we're not even at the end of the year. It's yeah. fucking so cool. And they, everyone loves him. UFC loves him. Yeah. 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 Apparently, like, uh, practices voodoo. Right. So, but I feel like it's a it's it's a cool story, right? Yeah. So people don't fuck with him. Yeah. Because he'll be like, "Well, I'll just fucking put a spell on you, bro." <laughs> That's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. That's hilarious. I wonder if he like does voodoo to the people he's gonna fight. Absolutely. Yeah, he would hundred percent. That's like that, that's his prep. Just yeah, like, it's a cool. Even if you didn't like, it's kind of because he it kind of works with the mystique. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he looks like this like fucking he looks like he's straight out of like the amazon like he yep. could be just like swinging from trees and killing fucking lions and shit like yep. he just looks and then when he comes out he's got the bow he like does this at him and shit yeah like he's sick he does his stand out he doesn't blink it's yeah. fucking hectic i love it yeah only because he's a good fighter character too. as well yeah it's a yeah. cool story 
So yeah. Anyway, we should get to some fitness related stuff. Talk about the weekend. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm clear my throat for this. Um, the weekend was mad. The smile on your face straight away, bro. It's the best. <laughs> yeah. The, the best. Saturday was awesome, bro. Like, um, so I flew into New South Wales to for Gemma and Jackson who were competing at the NBA uh, New South Wales state titles. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, first flight out, landed at the venue. The Sydney venue is probably the best one, I reckon. Yeah. Because it's like an amphitheater. See. So it's like elevated and it's round. It's huge, bro. Um, and yeah, like I, you obviously always want to, as a coach, beat the package of the, the previous showing and coming into the show the week of, mm-hmm. I was like, like we're fucking, we're on. Yeah. Like we're good. Yeah. You know, the guys were busting ass. So like credit to them, like they were just like, I'll do what it ta- whatever it takes. And it, like, when I say whatever it takes, like they were working real hard. Mm-hmm. Um, like Gemma, I was trying to hold a bit of conditioning well, I was kind of trying to hold her current condition the first show because I thought it was good enough Yeah. and then we got some feedback and it was like you need this you need this I like I, I could see it as well so then I was like fucking dropping the hammer mm-hmm. and um, yeah she just ate that up and then even Jackson like post Vix he's like I'll do I'll kill myself for this <laughs> and I was like okay cool like, that's a good good mentality and then yeah like pushed him real hard and then on the day like as soon as like I saw the the first kind of look of him backstage, I was like, this is going to be fun today. Yeah. And um, we had initial conversations of like not doing bodybuilding, like not going in it. Cause he was just like, yeah, I feel like classics where I'm at. And then like, they didn't take him out of it. So I'm like, just do it. Yeah. Like have some fun. <laughs> and yeah, like first category. Um, so was, he asked to be taken out. He asked to be taken out, out and they just like forgot. They just didn't take him out. Right. And then um, I'm like, just do it, bro. Mm. And then, yeah, like he ended up coming second in that first class. Um, I can't best. remember what it was, like beginners or something. Yeah. Um, and he looked fucking huge. Yeah. Did he place in the overall too? Yeah. So, no, no, he placed in the opens. Yeah. So, opens is like any age. They should, I think eventually they're going to have to go with like height and weight. Yeah. I think they, they went with age because um, at the start, it's easier when the when the Fed's smaller. Yeah. I think at some point, like they're going to have to look at just something, like yeah. a weight a weight thing. Um, cause yeah, that's a little bit more, um, fair. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he threw himself in the opens and come second again. Like, fuck you, man. and I was like, he was so close to coming first, man. Fuck. He was so close. But like, you know, judging was very accurate. Looked like his legs really from, cause I've only seen a couple of photos from the crowd. Yeah. And his legs really stood out. <clears throat> his legs and his back, his lat yeah. spread is insane. Yeah. Like his lat spread um and his like rear rear double yeah like almost to the to the point like his real spread was so good um later in the day i was like just sitting like i was just running to the best spot and just like sitting with people yeah i was like is anyone sitting here and i just sit down and i just start filming <laughs> and i was talking to someone and um they're like oh who's your client and i said oh number 90 93 and and this this lady was like oh that was the guy with the really big lat spread in the opens right and i was like yes he yeah, is yeah that's yeah. sick yeah. So yeah, when I went back to tell Jackson, he was just like, "That's so fucking cool." <laughs> yeah, and even just um, like that just set the tone for the day, though. Yeah, because he was just like, "I don't care what happens now." Yeah, you know, and the crowd was like, when I say the crowd was electrifying, it was insane. Yeah, you couldn't hear anything. That's people dope. were chanting. That's when you get libos, bro. When you get them up in there, <laughs> you get libos to a to a bodybuilding show. The whole family comes. The cousins. Yeah. The, you know, yeah. So half the room was just chanting for this this one guy. Yeah. And then everyone else who was getting involved with their crew started chanting too. So they, to, it was going yeah. off. That's mad. To the point where they couldn't hear. So yeah. Because I remember one the point, like, and shit. yeah, it said like side tricep, and they're all hitting the side chest, and I'm like, I'm just yelling, and Jackson's looking, I'm like pointing at the tricep, I'm like tricep, tricep, you know, and he's like, and then yeah, they all switch. Yeah. It was sick, man. Yeah. So yeah, then that so. was yeah start of the day. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, I don't care what happens next. Like, this yeah. has been. Yeah. This is amazing. Do you have to make any changes between bodybuilding to physique to um, his physique or to classic? I mean, no, nah, no, nah, not really. No, nah, because he yeah. was na- like, we nailed it. Yeah. We nailed it. Like yeah. I probably pushed the carbs a bit too much. Um, mm-hmm. he like we've just dis- we both decided that his best look was like Thursday, so yeah. like half a day of food. Okay, from being peeled down, like he was still we still nailed it for, compared to the last show. Yeah, but we both agreed that there was a better photo during that week. Yeah, than in the morning day of the show. Yeah, so we're gonna we're doing a different strategy this week leading into the nationals because we've got all the information now. 
it's like we backloaded, we frontloaded, or sorry, we frontloaded, we backloaded, and now it's like, okay, let's let's go in. Because he doesn't really lose like the the pop in the muscle. Yeah. Like he doesn't get flat, like yep. as per se. Like he always looks, you yep. know, pretty pretty bubbly. Yep. Yeah. So to make sure that midsection's real tight, like we'll we'll bring him in, yeah, just on the flatter side and, and just fill him up right at the end. Um and then yeah, like the classic was the lineups were really good. Um, he placed again. He came second a bunch of times. He came so close to coming first. Like I actually thought he he should have come first um, in one of them, but the other dude was just peeled. Yeah. Jackson was bigger, but he was peeled. He he, was, he had a great package. When I saw him backstage, I was like, just, you know, you just people draw yeah, your attention. Yeah. I'm like, that can't kind of shred it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that it was awesome, man. The he was up there. And I saw he had when everyone was yelling, he had this smile, bro. Mm. That was it for me. Yeah. In your yeah. story, you were like walking. So I was filming all day. So I didn't like see a lot of it. Mm. In your story, just like you're walking and then Jason's uh Jackson's head pops up in his smile and how he wasn't deflated in Melbourne. Mm. He was happy, but he looked exhausted. Yeah. So then to see him still look exhausted because of course no, yeah that's it but the but, different look on his face i was yeah. like that's fucking awesome yeah and he like he was like i understand what you why you've done what you've done he's like i yeah. just walked out of victoria knowing i could have done more more yeah and i was like i understand i was just yeah. like we had a whole we got a whole another month to go yeah so i was like that's that's i've just i set that course and now you can see why yeah um and he was like yeah but it was just, he was just like, I feel vindicated. Yeah. And he put on a good show in front of like his whole, his, fa- his friends, his family were there. Of like, course, home show, yeah. It's like home soil. Like yeah. we wanted it to be special. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's just, he's hitting his side chest and I could just, his smile, man. I'm like, I'm fucking, this is it. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, Reese, yeah. Reese was there. He had two of his boys competing. And um, backstage was fun, man. Like I was just sitting back and he was like moving around with his boys and they were, you know, they both look fantastic. Um, and I was just like, one, I felt old, <laughs> very old. Um, but that, but other than that, I, it was pretty special, man. Like, yeah, just see someone that you've kind of like helped to nurture. Like, I'm not claiming mm-hmm. anything. Yeah, but, but mentored. We've consulted yeah. Yeah. together for like um, a few of his boys' preps. Yeah, and then he's done standout. He's done all of the mm-hmm. programming stuff. I've coached him. Yeah, I coach him, and we've prepped together. Yeah. So yeah, to watch him doing that. I was like, yeah, you want to like someone like us, like we want to make that impact. And yep. that was seeing it was so awesome, man. I can't yeah. even describe the, the feeling. Yeah. And then, yeah, we were sitting together. So Charlie and Jackson were in the same class. Mm-hmm. We're joking backstage. I'm like, Charlie, you beat Jackson. I'm like, he's fired. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can't have that. Yeah. No, just laugh and whatever. <laughs> And um, we're sitting together and then they put the three of them in the middle. So there's like this one guy um, and then Jackson and Charlie. Yeah. And they're posing and shit. We're yelling and I'm, I was like grabbing Reese on the shoulders and shaking him. I'm like, this is fucking sick, bro. Like, yeah. I'm like, this is so fun to just have have him there and just us have our clients right in front, in front and center. Yeah. Uh, and Charlie ended up winning and he, and he won the Open as well. Um, yeah, right. So yeah, we come backstage. It was, it was just- it was classic. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, the package was real good. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was it. Was just a cool moment, man. I I don't know how else to explain. It. it was fun. Yeah. You know, we were backstage, kind of laughing and and gallivanting around and stuff. So yeah, that and that was only half the day. It's pretty cool. Like, give Reese a shout out to like, was he third year? Yeah, something like that. Not early. Yeah, to pull an open winner. Yeah. Third yeah. year as a trainer, let alone bodybuilding. Mm. Yep. That's. Very, very impressive. Absolutely. Uh, there's not many trainers as dedicated to the craft. Yeah. I would say like you just, every every I has to be dotted, every T has to be yeah, crossed. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. He's got, he, he just thinks the way he should. You know, he's like, oh man, you know, I've been up at night thinking about it and this and that and even leading in and I'm like, dude, I'm like. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, we all, we all do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that was cool, man. And then that was only half the day. Yeah. So like we still had still had the women's show and Gemma to come. And like cuz you uh, I don't know how to describe this. Like I know how great she is. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like from a physique perspective, like yep. I, I, I could see it yep. months out. And um, when when I, I got the feedback, so I was like, if I get the feedback and I do what I'm, we're told, no one can stop us. Yeah. Because I, and, and then, so she checked in the day before. No, she sent me checking in on the morning of, and I was just like, like, yeah. If someone beats this, they deserve it. Props. Yeah. <clears throat> they deserve it. There's no way. Like, yep. this is the best look I've, I've ever produced from her. Yeah. Like, I, 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 it is what it is, right? Yep. Um, so then she comes, I'm like, mum, mum's there, support crew, you know. And then, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, let's have, just have a good time, put on a good show, you know. Uh, so then mum walks off and then I looked at her and I'm like, are you ready to just go and fuck shit up? And she's just like, that's fucking <laughs> She's like, I'm yeah. here. She's like, I'm here to win. Yeah, that's sick. You know, and I was like, obviously you're here to do well and put on a good yeah. show, but she's like, I want to win. Yeah. Um, There's a time for that attitude? Yeah. And it's when you've done the work and you wake up the way she did. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's it. I was like, yep. you know, trying to manage expectations. I remember one part, one part, I can't remember what I said, but I was about to say, um, we're going to, I think it was something like such as like, we're going to win. Mm-hmm. And I just said, we're going to have a good time. And she goes, nah, I want to fucking win. And I go, you literally took the words out of my mouth. Yeah. Cause I, st- I started I the it. word. Yeah. yeah and yeah, then yeah. I changed it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's like, nah, I'm going to fucking win. And I was like, I love that. Yeah. It's sick. Yeah. So that was fun. And then, um, yeah, she, she cleaned up, you know, she, the bikini, she doesn't have the physique just yet. Mm-hmm. Cause the people that are beating her are just bigger in the bottom half. Yeah. So it's just more size. Like she needs more size in the glutes and more size overall in the leg, like the side profile of the leg. Um, but, it, you know, y- you can be happy losing to a size because you can't do, you can't fix that. Yeah. Like I was saying to one of the judges, I said, oh, she lost the bikini because of the, the size in the lower half. And they said, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, but she came first in the beginners for the bikini. She came second in the under 25s. Yeah. And then she was elite, probably top three for the overall. You can just see it. They don't tell you, but right. you can just see where they position them. It's like person front and center is winning. Yeah. And then it's like second and third or, or third and second at either side. And then yeah. you just look at the physique. So you're like, okay, well, that the one that the one that was left or had already beaten Gemma. Yeah. And then they spread the rest of them. So I'm like, okay, so let's do it. Yeah. So I'm like, it's fine. I'm happy with that. You know, yeah. productive off season. And yeah, we're kind of there. So mm-hmm. Um, that was just the bikini part. And then, yeah, once we got to swimsuit, I, I we'd even had someone come over like from the Fed and was just like, you, you've got the perfect look yep. for that. So they were like, we really hope you do well today. Yeah. And um, don't yeah. fuck it up, basically. <laughs> kind of. Just hit your pose as well and you win. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. And even like just for next week, they're like, just do what you're doing now. Yeah. Yeah. We want you to to do well when someone wants to look at what a swimsuit needs to look like <laughs> yeah like this. you have they're like you just have it the lines the this the that um so then yeah and i was obviously just sussing the competition yep um so i was pretty confident and um yeah like we yeah it was just she just went in the swimsuit and just cleaned up yeah it was just they, they just kept calling her name out <laughs> <laughs> you know uh and then i was like well if you win if you win beginners under 25 and the open yeah you got to take the overall. No one's left. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's only yep. two other divisions. Yeah. You know, so it's like under 40 and under 30. Yeah. So it's like, surely, if you win the Open... Yeah, under... Yeah, that's... Like, yeah, it's highly likely that you win the state show. Yeah. So, yeah, that was fun, man. Like, went up again and, you know, they were like, oh, these guys come from Melbourne to take your state title. <laughs> 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 I was like, yep, we did. Yes, we, we did. did. Latest. Yeah. So, yeah, it was... Um, yeah, speechless on that. Another yep. special day. Yep. Out, but I was I was more happy with like the placings are, are great and the medals are good, but you can, it the package is the most important thing. The package and the performance, mm. because yeah, like everyone's like oh, I want to compete for for placings and medals, but sometimes that's just a matter of picking the right division, <laughs> yeah, category. Because Jackson picked in true Jackson fashion, which I love about him. <laughs> um, in bodybuilding, he picked beginners and open. Yeah. So he's like, I'm going in to the deep end. Yeah. And I just need just to see, see where I'm at. Yeah. Where if he picked intermediate, yeah. he would have beaten, he would have won. Yeah. He would have come first because there was only one guy in the intermediate and he'd already beat me. Yeah. So unless he de- deteriorated in 30 minutes, <laughs> <clears throat> you know. Yeah. So then I said to Jackson, like, does it matter 
if you have a gold medal, yeah, when the guy that got the gold medal because no one else was in it, you've already beaten him. Beaten him else. And you, but you, you know, you should just be happy with the package. Yeah, because <clears throat> sometimes that's just how bodybuilding is. Like it's just yeah, you pick the right show, the right category, right time. Yeah, and you nail it. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's your best showing. Mm. Your best showing is what was I like at Vix? Yeah, and what was I like at New South Wales? Yeah, this one is was significantly better. Yeah, and even, dude, the, even the, who shows up in the Fed too. Absolutely, the guy that walked out in Victoria for I think it was bodybuilding. Yeah, that was like six three. Yeah, that Nick guy. And, insane. Yeah, yeah, fucking massive, yeah. and it was just like you can't look anywhere else. Yeah, this guy is so much bigger than so everyone. Imposing. Yeah. It's just like, how do you even... Yeah, there's another one of them at New South Wales as well. He's just like, I saw him backstage and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hopefully there's enough guys so that we have a hot short and tall because he was huge. Yeah. And I'm like, Jackson should just scrape into the <laughs> shorts. <laughs> yeah, just. Fuck. Yeah. But yeah, there was a... I'm actually really looking forward to next... Because next week's a pro-am, so it, there's a pro show as well. Yeah, so you'll get to see the like the pro natty bodybuilders, mm-hmm. and it, fuck man, from what I've been seeing, it's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, even, even the amateur show is gonna be great. Like if all of the overall bodybuilding winners from each state go, go yeah, it's gonna be a fucking top tier lineup. Yeah, so yeah, so Sorry. that's it. Yeah, so we finished early, and then um, I had the 10 p.m. flight, so then Jackson come picked me back up, yep. and then they cooked me dinner at at their house. I was trying to work out. I was like, "That looks like such a homely meal. Where have you fuck have you gone for dinner?" Yeah, yeah. They picked me up. And yeah, amazing. They picked me up, and they're like, "We'll cook. We'll cook dinner at, at my place." I was yeah. like, "Fuck! Can this day get any better?" Yeah. No, it couldn't get any better, but it got worse. <laughs> <laughs> so then, like, yeah, at the airport, and um, we were on the plane, and we we're about to take off, literally on the fucking like tarmac to fly out. You yeah. Know? And then they're like, oh, we've got to turn around. There's someone on the flight that's unwell, they said. So we go back and then, I don't know, this dude just didn't want to get off or for whatever. So then, yeah, we had to wait for the police to come. And Fuck. I was like, don't say anything because you're going to be on TikTok. <laughs> so I kept saying to myself, like, because I was so tired. <laughs> My patience was paper thin. Yeah. And I was just like, uh, yeah, you don't want to be like on TikTok yelling at people in the plane. Yeah. But I, like, I was just getting frustrated because I was like, what are these fucking policemen doing? Like, get this motherfucker off the plane. There's yeah. four of you. Like, And then eventually he got off. I don't even know how he got on, bro. Like, He was in a bad way. Mm. Unless he like... The only thing I was thinking about, I was talking to someone about it yesterday, is like maybe he took like a like a zanny or something to like calm himself down. Because you know people panic yeah. when they fly. Yeah. Maybe he had a few too... Because he looked like he loved the beer. Yeah. He's in a high-vis look. <laughs> no. Just... <laughs> Yeah. Don't, I'm just to add to it again. He looked, he looked like he liked the NRL 4X Gold. Yeah. You know, yeah. And it was Annie on a flight out of Melbourne at 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then Fuck. I knew that Sydney has 11 p.m. curfew. Yeah. Because you can't fly out, obviously, because of the houses and shit. Yeah. So I'm like, I bet you I'm going to have to stay here. So I'm like playing that out of my head. Obviously, I don't really like change. <laughs> trying to make sure that I tell myself that it's happening so that when it happens, I don't get angry. Yeah. Um. And then, yeah, they were asking for permission for us to get out. Yeah. So 80 fucking minutes later, we fly out. Fuck. So then we get to the airport and because all the, all the international flights land on Saturday night yep. between 12 and 2. Yeah. We land at 12.30. Mm-hmm. So the airport's heaving. Pumped. And I, like the, the bus <laughs> to go back to the car park where Steph booked the car, the line was huge. Yeah. People have been waiting for an hour, bro. So I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I looked up whether I could get an Uber to the car park. Yep. Apparently you can't. Yep. They won't take the fares too short. Nah, and like, I don't know if they will drive into the car park. So then... Yeah, okay. So I walked with the Sorry. bus on the street. And then as soon as the door opened, I just went in the back door. <laughs> Bro, I knew it wasn't the right thing to do, but I was just like... I did, I just want to go home. I hope mate. you didn't have your be less shit shirt on. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I had our business one on, so I was like, I, I like got in the bus and just hooked a left and just sat with this family and just put my headphones on. I'm just sitting there like this. <laughs> did anyone say anything? No, I'm not saying anything to me. Yeah, I, I said true. to my, I said to my mate, I said if they said something, I said good on them. Yeah, but yeah, 
um, but then a bunch <laughs> of other people jumped on too, and then someone came in. They're like, "Oh, we've been waiting for an hour, rah, rah. And then they're like, "Yeah, we've been waiting too." And then that was it. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh well, yeah, I'm going home. <laughs> Not waiting an hour. Latest. If man, if I had to wait an hour, I would have just got to Uber home and then just pick the car up the next the day. The next day, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, I got in the door at like one forty, one thirty-five. Mm. Yeah. Lost an hour, but yeah. yeah, I woke up in the morning. I was like. It's fucking worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. I regret nothing. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So now we we are uh, yeah now that we, this weekend's Brisbane. Yep. Um, we all go up Friday, mm-hmm. and then yeah, like the girls are Saturday, the boys are Sunday. Yep. And I come back on Tuesday. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna catch up with my mum on Monday. Yep. I think. Um. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be the highest quality of um the highest standard of, of, of bodybuilding for that federation. So it'll be a really good, yeah. you know, kind of litmus test for them, for them all. Is that the highest quality you've coached at? <sighs> I'd say so. Yeah. 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 I mean, look, when Matt competed in IFBB um, in his debut season, like it was pretty good as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like bodybuilding in general is just getting bigger and better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in the physiques, man, I'm like... Like I said, I haven't been hell. for a long time, but even <clears throat> that Melbourne show, I was like, Jesus, this is nah, not crazy. what local natty bodybuilding was yeah yeah there's been a few discussions about that it's just like how it's like the physiques are looking they're looking big mm. and I'm like what are you doing your off season mm. a little bit of that going on I think yep do you reckon yeah. it's that or you reckon that like talent <coughs> pool's wider I think it's training combat. in high school is more of a thing yeah yeah I think it's a combination time. of everything but I, I, look as a man who's stared at a lot of physiques mm. there's just a, not all of them yeah, like some yeah. of them, you're like, you, you can see it, it's fine. There's yeah. just a couple. I'm like, I'm on to you, bro. Got my eye on you. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I've had gyno before. It's like, I've had that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, it's yeah. the only way you get that, bro. <laughs> yeah. With that kind of muscle yeah. and that hardness, it's like you weren't a fat kid in school mm. who's just got, you know, a little bit of gyno. It's like, yeah. you're, you have an estrogen That's problem. Something. You have an estrogen problem. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, I found my, like my like original Phoenix transformation photos. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep them. Just cause like, look, I did have gyno. I promise. Oh uh, yeah, it. I had it when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> look how skinny I was. Yeah. I still had gyno. Yeah, it's just a certain. Yeah, yeah. But the quality's good. The standards higher. The coaching's better. Like, yeah, like bodybuilding in general is getting yeah. better. It's got access to information, access to people. Mm. Because you go back like maybe 10, 15 years, or maybe a bit more before that. Like, it was just like a, a meathead in the gym wrote your program. Yeah. Like, I remember my first, yeah. when I was, I first wanted to compete. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some some dude just wrote out on an A4 sheet of paper, like, to eat pasta and tuna, rice and mince, and, you know, six eggs or whatever for breakfast. Yeah. And then I just did a training program, 60 minutes cardio every day. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So now, training apps, blood work, supplements, yeah. you know, um, pictures, like... Being able to assess, like I can assess Jackson one and Gemma's photos from day to day now. Mm. So I can look yeah. from yesterday to today. Yeah. Like you, you couldn't have done that. Yeah. Because you can't send, a, one, you can't take a photo and put it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you just got to hope where now, yeah, yeah. we can make these on micro. iPhone 3. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 20 years ago. Fucking hell. It would have been a yeah, huge camera or a Polaroid <laughs> and get a scanner and fucking whatever. It'd be all pixelated and shit. Fucking hell. Remember we used to go out, were you in that age where you used to have to go out with an actual camera? Did you ever do that? Uh, the girls I used to go well, out yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. That was Steph as well. She was the camera person. So yeah. you used to go out with an actual fucking camera. Yeah. And like taking pictures and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine- Everyone's had fucking red eyes and shit. Yeah. That's yeah. the era of that bodybuilding. Mm. Yeah. So I, you can see how it's gotten better. Yeah. But then, yeah, there's just there's just a couple of physiques. <laughs> I'm just fucking- I'm like, you either have like perfect genetics. Yeah. Or- the lines are blurred in the off season. Yeah. Which is like, look, let's be real, right? It's a tested federation. Let's be real though. As like everyone's job is to blur those lines. Like, yeah. you know, that's what sport teams look for. They're yeah. like, hey, like this is going to give you a really big advantage and it's actually not banned yet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it happens all the time. Mm. So and I get it. It's against, it's weird. Because it's like, <clears throat> is it against the rules to take it or is it against the rules for it to be in your system when you test it? Yeah, and where's the line get drawn? It's like, what if you tore your hamstring and then the doctor's like, oh, if you do these, yeah, grow, if you do a bit of BPC-157, yeah. like you'll be back in no time. Yeah, can you test for any of that shit? I have no idea. Any of the peptides? 
Uh, I would say, yo, yeah, absolutely, because they they found them in the um, in all the footy plays. I don't think they found them. Oh, really? No, nah, because okay. um, maybe not. Zarakis just came out and said that they were getting injected, so then they looked into it. Yeah, he could have just said they were B twelve, man, silly boy. Yeah, that's nah, just B twelve, bro. Yeah, I think it was like every day. <laughs> yeah, just really deficient on B twelve, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then they went yeah. in and like found all the. They found the records of the tracking of it. I don't right. know. Okay, like so they didn't actually in a cup. Did. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah they didn't pop because it was a year later. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'd but say you could. I but... remember watching the following season and like I reckon Collingwood and Geelong on average lost three kilos of player. Yeah. It was just like, oh, okay. everyone's doing it. Yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. yeah. It's like the fucking Tour de France. Like, yeah. Lance becomes the scapegoat because some dude ratted him out. Yeah, and, and all he would have 28. All of a sudden, like, his biggest rival isn't doing it either. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to win this one this year. Yeah. I'm ha- I was happy coming second all the time. I think but... it went down to 28th or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's... it didn't pop. They're all, they're all doing shit. Isn't that crazy how he got popped just because some dude, he pissed some dude off. Really? Yeah, he pissed some dude off and he fucking, um, he ratted him out. Wow. That's it. It's the only reason. Yeah. Not saying it's right or wrong. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At that level, it's just like... So they were just cheating the test at the time, right? Yeah. That's their thing. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what F1 drivers take. They would take some form of cognitive... Yeah. Performance. The fucking... Me. Lewis, man. His eyes and how much he touches his face. Yeah, maybe it'd be like... sessions. Modafinil out of roll. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had a, I had a half tab of modafinil when I, on Saturday. Mm-hmm. It was good. Yeah, just the honey meds. Yeah, well, it's like I yeah. knew I wasn't gonna have access to, yeah, caffeine and stuff mm-hmm. constantly, so I needed to be alert. Yeah, functional. It was good. It was a nice amount. You know, I was gonna have some on Saturday, yeah, but it's, I didn't it's, it's, we got the slow release one. I think so it's do. good. It's great. Yeah, so you don't get that like yeah over jittery, mm-hmm. you know, scratchy skin <laughs> feeling. How do you know you have? Yeah. Potentially some ADHD. Take a stimulant and go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take a stimulant and feel normal. <laughs> feel better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, fun. I'm uh, trying not to get carried away with the weekend ahead. I'm just going to yeah. try to just. Good showing drink. again. Yeah. That's just it. take it as it comes. But, mm. yeah. Yeah. C- could be a really good day out for them all. I'm doing the same. A couple of girls. One, like, seven kilo over comp PB in the gym. Um, yeah, the others are kind of five to looking five to ten already, or hit their comp numbers in the gym, which usually mm. they chip on the day. Yeah, so I'm the same. I'm just like, yeah, I'm saying nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm it's saying hard. Nothing. It's hard to not get excited. Though, yeah, because right? you got to a you got to show up and perform. Yeah, well that's it. So many thing. so many things can happen from now till the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard not to just. Yeah, you know, it's nice. I, it, you obviously want to be in a position every now and then where you're like kind of second guessing yourself, keeps you on your toes a bit. Like, yeah. oh, I don't know, this and that. But it's kind of nice feeling when you're like, yeah, ready. Like, I'm not, I'm not getting complacent. Like, I know these guys can wake up one day and just, you know, look like not a, be that, you know, yeah. a bag of sand. Yeah, you got to do some really b- bad shit to do that. But mm. yeah, it's it's kind of nice to just be ready. Yeah, and then just yeah. come in and. I've got a another client just starting kind of off season y prep and we didn't have a comp. And yeah. both of I was just like, I miss this and I miss this and I miss this too late. I'm like, I have something to prove to you. Let's fucking go. And he was like, No, nah, I did this, I did this, I did this, I yeah, did awesome. this. It's all me. And I was like, Okay, so we both have something to prove. Let's go fucking get it. Let's yeah. 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 So it's just like you don't know what can fall apart in that yeah. timeline. Like the, look, everything looks good. Numbers yep. all look good, so it is. I will say it's it a, is much better once they've competed. Yeah, because yeah, they yeah, yeah. they they're calmer, they're more confident. Yeah, they yeah. ask better questions. They make good decisions for themselves. Yeah, and they bring you in on things. Yeah, um, you don't get a second week in powerlifting, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, that's the tough part. Yeah. Um, but I I have noticed that just the change from week to week is is mm. or from show to show. Yeah. You can tell that's how that you get better. Yeah, well, that's like... Because you get this feedback, you get this extra mm-hmm. feedback. They're like... That's the argument for powerlifting to compete more. Of course. Because like I would like my team to compete once a year. Yeah. Most of them want to compete every six months, which is fair. But mm. that's the benefit of it is 
you get to work you out that get approach. more exposures to doing the thing to then be like oh actually if i fuck around with this or yep like ah oh, fuck i didn't do that mobility prehab well mm. for four weeks and then my elbows hurt i'm gonna do it this time yeah like you get that learning absolutely the attention to detail gets better the more times you've competed I agree. Yeah. And even uh, after the show the other day, like Jackson and I had that conversation because, you know, like you got to put, if you got to put size on, like we worked it out. Once you recover properly mm. to then push yourself into a growth phase and then you got to think about the prep, which will be way shorter this time, right? Yeah. We only have like five months. Yeah. To put some size on. It's not a lot of time. Yeah. Like just granted you can. Yeah. Um, and we can make enough progress, but it depends on how much you want to make. Yeah, it's not a lot of time to stay in good shape and absolutely as a natty. Like yeah. it's not. I agree. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but then he was like, I feel like I need to be in it to be at my best. Yeah. Like, he's like, I need to compete more. Mm. I feel like I need it to, you know, stay compete. focused. Yeah. Just, and, yeah. and like, you know, he was like, it's fun as well. Yeah. So I was like, well, you've got to decide, you know, kind of why you're in, what you're in this for. Yeah. And then we just meet those expectations. Yeah, I feel like there's people that enjoy competing more than training, and vice versa too. Hey, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some people want to know, want to, they want like the fruits of the labor, right? Yeah. So they want to train. Like, not saying Jack is one of those people, but he, I think he just really likes the the whole thing. Yeah. So he was like, I feel like I may, like yeah. I don't know if I'll take a full, you know, like if we do a year, maybe he'll do the start the early season instead of the same show. Because if you do the same show, then it's like eighteen months. Yeah. You know, yep. or two years, but eighteen months of of uh, growing, yeah, and then six months in prep, yep. yeah, which you make heaps of progress. Like, look at Matt; like he he's mm. made he's made so much progress. It's scary like, to see him, to be honest. Yeah, so he sent me like because it's the anniversary of like when he competed two years ago, and he yeah. was like, "I feel like I'm I could beat that condition in five weeks now." I'm like, and he's like, oh, "Fucking twenty kilos heavier!" Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is he like? One thirty. 133.5 right now me. as of today such a big person he's nearly 300 pounds bro it's such a big person <clears throat> yeah yeah he's almost 300 pounds fucking hell <clears throat> yeah he'll probably get to yeah 310 like 100 yeah 137 or something i think we said yeah try to maybe yeah. i don't know i'm pretty happy with where he's at so <laughs> yeah like he's obviously chasing a little bit more but i'm like we've only got a 115 weight cap bro so if you do 20 yeah. kilos, 20 kilos, 134. It's a lot. It's like, just stay there. Yeah. 20 kilos. Yeah. Yeah. Because we got to do it in like 16 weeks. Yeah. Yeah. But that's fine. He's uh, over in Thailand at the moment having a good time and then it's all gas when he gets back. Yeah. That's where he's traveling. Yeah. Yeah. Looking it's bigger good. than the table. Birthday. Yeah. If you have, like you, uh, you will be the biggest person in Thailand. Yeah. Like, yeah. Outside of like maybe a couple of bikies, like who've cut expat bikies from Australia, it's yeah. like you're the biggest human there. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine walking down Fitness Street, hey. Yeah, yeah. It's just like people are like going there yeah. to train full time. Yeah, there'd be a lot of people just, like, just like second guessing why they bother. This kid walks in, he's just like, <laughs> what the fuck? Because he is a kid, isn't yeah. he? He's like, 24? like 20, 24, 25. Yeah. So much, so much time ahead. I don't mean that disrespectfully. Just the fact that yeah, he's got he's so much more time to grow than me. Yeah, right? it's fucking walk around one hundred and thirty, and probably like twelve percent, thirteen percent body fat. It's silly. <laughs> it's silly. Yeah, um, yeah. He, he, it's he's very fun to coach, but every time I open his check-ins, I'm like, fuck, just like wish I had better parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Puts the work in. Gets his, he deserves it, but yeah, it's just you just know, you yeah. know. He's the, he's the one where I'm like, okay, you you know that stock is still very, very important. Yeah. You match it with the work ethic. How strict... Do you have more? Because I have a question for you. Uh, I've got questions, but they, they're they like just in general questions, so we can... How firm are you on a client who's like, I want to compete, but they don't necessarily have maybe the lifestyle or even like relationship with food and training and stuff yet mm. to commit to it. Yeah. You do the trial run. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, so these are basically we've, we've done it both yeah. together. Been like, okay, this, 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 and this are some room for improvement. Let's say that we need to fix before we say yeah, competition is a go. Yeah. I'm pretty firm now, to be honest. Yeah. I'll be like, 
this is these are the gaps we need to fill beforehand. I know there's other people that just will allow things to happen, but if you do that, then I find that the relationship will break down when the pressure is high. Yeah, because there's nothing worse than being eight weeks out and you're not ready. Yeah, and and that person's not doing what they should. Yeah, because that's stressful on you, it's stressful on them, and then that relationship can actually fracture. Mm. Where like now, I'd just be like, you're not in a position just yet because of these things. Yeah, it's like we need us, we need to make sure that those things are, yeah, are on, like on point for for this to be because it's already hard, man. Yeah, like I've got the three and the, the everyone I had that competed this season, there was no off plan, nothing. Yeah, I didn't get a single person say I have done this, and I trust that they would have told me. Yeah. Like Gemma told me she ate like 50 grams of cherry tomatoes, yeah. seven calories. It was like blink five times and you're <laughs> sweet. It's neutral. Um, so, and it was fucking hard for all. Yeah. You know, so I think when you start to just add in things that aren't at a standard of where they should be, mm. One, it makes it even harder. Two, you have to second guess yourself because if they're not following the plan, you're like, oh, what's the, you know, why? What do I change? How do yeah. I make another decision? Do I bomb? Do I drag them down even more? And it's like, how can you drag someone down even more if they're not doing the thing? Already. Doing the thing, you know? Um, then it makes the experience negative for them. And yeah. all of a sudden, bodybuilding wasn't for me. And I yeah. just, I feel like you're trying to make the experience as, when I say easy, it's as easy as it can be. It's fucking yeah, hard. Yeah. So yeah. it, rather than that, say, not, yeah, seamless, awful, yeah, but just as hard as it needs to be. Yeah. You know, so I'm very strict on that now. Mm. Yeah. And do you want to see that like in an off season? Yeah. I want to see it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see like the, like, so that's, that's the challenge I've set. It's yeah. like, okay, so we're going to go into, you got two more weeks, three more weeks of the cut. Yeah. We'll get some before and after photos. Mm -hmm. um, can't make it to our shoot. So it's like, cool. Yep. Tan up. Either see a local photographer or just go to the gym and film a whole workout and yep. do it in 4K and take some photos. Yeah. Then we're going to go into a maintenance block. We've got Christmas coming up. We've got a holiday coming up. We've got a new business coming up. It's like, okay. Now, that maintenance still has to be yeah. at the, for lack of a better term, because I know people get shitty at it, the adherence to the plan that your cut was and it actually needs to be we've identified that there needs there's room so it actually needs to be better mm. so lifestyle wise you need to start living like a bodybuilder yeah if you want to do a bodybuilding show yeah we call it always in prep yeah yeah I call it living the lifestyle always in prep like that's what the yeah the, the new kind of I guess like term is it's like you don't it doesn't matter what phase of the year you're in you're always treating it like prep and it's like you dot eyes cross t's live the way you should live in a live in a manner or operate in a manner that reflects your outcomes yeah and, and there's there's not a lot of rope yeah you know like that's the the less rope you have mm. the better you'll be the, yeah yeah for me it's more behavioral mm. like i just want to know mm. so powerlifting the only metric is do you go to the gym yeah like if it's like if you're doing that Sweet. Well, it's like, hey, show up in the gym though, because you can micro, you can break all of it down. Yeah, but hey, yeah. how you how you approach your warm ups, how you approach your yeah. ramp sets, how you approach the the yeah. your hypertrophy blocks. Yeah, you know how you approach your accessories. We've spoken about this so much. I think most people interested in powerlifting don't have an issue with that. Mm. It's like if I want to get on the platform, there's not many people that come to me because it's not sexy. Mm. I think that's what it is. It's like if you want to go into powerlifting, you like lifting heavy weights. Yeah. So I'm trying to balance more often than not trying to make sure that your tech's good and the way the way your training is good. Mm. Not uh yeah, like where I've had other ones like, oh, I think maybe I want to try powerlifting and like you, you know, just skip workouts and shit. Like that's not Yeah. When it gets hard, you're not gonna you won't enjoy it. You'll break too. hundred percent. And everyone that does that gets injured. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, I, oh, we're in prep now. Turn it on. Week four, Still like, something hurts. Mm, yeah. It's yeah. like you haven't done the work. You haven't built the foundation. Yeah. Happens every time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that with the physique stuff, though, I think there's more layers. Oh, yeah, because it the branches has out to, be, to yeah. every aspect of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess, like, maybe I've just been fortunate with the powerlifters that I've had 
because maybe I, my my reputation's more steadfast in that that people like that come to me for it are a little they're on a different playing field. Yeah. Whereas for a physique, people would come to me for a lifestyle transformation, mm. not to compete. And then they start to do it, and they're like, "Actually, I kind of like this, and I do want to compete. Can you do that?" Yeah. I'm like, "We, these are the standards, rather than coming to me and being like, I want to compete, and I'm already doing all this." So maybe that's what it is for me, because powerlifting's like it's rare. Yeah. It's rare to have people that don't train in the off season. Like I've maybe had one in the last couple of years. Yeah, right. That don't do all the things that they should. Yeah. Or a couple. I think it's on on us to. People don't understand the standard they have to operate at as well, though. Yeah. So that's on us to tell them. Yeah. You know? So even like I've consulted with a few people over the last couple of weeks who've jumped on board for preps. Yeah. Uh, for comps like in the future. Yeah. And I'm like, this is the expectation. Yeah. You know, and I've got them in dot points. I'm like, you, you yeah. know, you've got to live like this. Yeah. Um, and that doesn't mean that it happens at the start of prep. It means it happens as soon as your first week yeah. lays out. And I'm like, if you're not prepared to do that, then this isn't going to work for you. Yeah. You know? And I can see how, um, remember when I like, uh, like hit up Rawdon for coaching and he sent me his like little yeah. like book of yeah. like, this is what I do. Yeah. Uh, th- that is, that was the, a written conversation of what I have with people now. Mm. It was just a written version of it. Yeah. It's like, if you don't want to do this, yeah, I'm not going to bother. Yeah. Is essentially what it, what it was. Like, yeah. You don't train this way. You don't eat this way. You don't, you know, operate in your life this way. Yeah. Then I'm not the coach for you. And I, I can respect that now because the last thing you want is to tell someone like, yeah, we can get you to comp, but not lay those expectations out at the start mm-hmm. and then try and mold them. And then there's resistance. And then all of a sudden you're halfway through prep and, you know, then they move to another coach and, you know, yeah, you're you know, like you're the bad person and all that yeah. kind of shit, like, which, you know, whatever happens. Um, but you want to try and, yeah, reduce that as much as possible. Yep. So, yeah, I think the more the more kind of dialed in on like what you want to see in an athlete, and I think you need to know what that is. Yeah. The more dialed in you are, you can go, this is the person that operates in a way that has the goals that you yeah. that you want. You have to live mm-hmm. that way. Yeah. I think my train of thought with the, the who comes to me thing is like I don't get people that eat shit and drink and mm. like they they – lifestyle training is already their lifestyle the ones that come for powerlifting Mm. Um, but it's another like that's great for a physique transformation that's great for lifestyle but there's more yeah and there's something you can get anyone in shape like um, in a multitude of ways you know and you can do it softly you can do it aggressively you can be short it can be long yeah when there's a standard of physique that needs to be met yeah. that is way higher than what anyone has most likely ever done before. Yeah. And it's on a specific day as well. Mm. Yeah. It's like that takes a fucking certain standard to live by every day. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that's what needs to be. You need to know what that standard is and you need to hold them to it every week. And they also need to know what it's like before they go into it of all of the the habits and everything. Yeah. So that like we always say, it's just a turn of the dial. Yeah. You know, even once once the once Saturday and Sunday go, these mm-hmm. guys are like, just it's just more carbs and fats. Yeah, but the behavior is the same. It, but they they still meal prep. Yeah. They still do their cardio. They still train. They're still just not as hungry. <laughs> yeah, it, like nothing changes. They just yeah. feel better. Yeah, yeah, nothing changes. And that's yeah. what that didn't happen week one of prep. Mm. That manifested over the the time that I was working with them before they were prep yeah. in prep. How long would you have an expectation or say recommend someone's listening and thinking about competing? How long should you have that application for? Mm, That's a great question. Uh, Look, I think it depends on where your physique is to where it needs to be because it's not just the behaviors. Like Mm. I don't want to, I don't want to prep someone who ends up on stage that doesn't look the way they should for the categories as well. Yeah. Like you need to have enough muscle. Yep. And that muscle takes time. So you, you would need to, this is where it's a little bit individual. Yeah. You know, because you've got to have that period where you add size to strip. Because prep's just peeling body fat off to present the muscle. Mm-hmm. It, the muscle gets built in the off season or the pre-prep period. Yeah. So that's, so yeah, from a physique perspective, it depends. Um, if the person was just like, hey, I've got the the assets on my physique to do well. Yeah. 
three months. Okay. Shorter than I expected. Dotting I's and crossing T's. Yeah. So like if you like you've got the size, right? So let's just use you as an example. Put you in some board shorts so you don't have to train legs, right? <laughs> so it's like you want to do this f- the biggest compliment Jace has ever given me. <laughs> <laughs> well put him in board shorts though. I could have I, I could have given you the side jab. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped listening after you've got the size, bro. That ended there. In my head, my the 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 voice in the back of my head still said fanatics. So I'm still just like, nah, like I don't. But anyway, um, so upper body size, like the size for the category is there. Yeah. So then it's like, okay, well, like we need to just live that way first. Yeah. And then you need to get information, like you know responses to training nutrition supplements yeah you know foster relationship as well which i think mm-hmm. is super important like i don't like the idea of just like i'm coming to prep and preps now yeah i don't i don't even know if i would do that now yeah we'd do that now just because you, you, your reputation's on the line man mm. like, like i can do it but it's just like to take a very yeah very very unique circumstance to just be like all right we consulted this week and prep starts, prep starts. monday yeah that that takes a very unique situation and person i guess um, so yeah, you just want to see that, that all those things are being met so that when you move into prep, everything's as good as it can be. Yeah. But that's not to say that like it can't happen because if you've got a high caliber athlete and that's, what's going to happen. I know there's going to be a time when someone comes like one of my guys for whatever it can, it's happened before. Yeah. They've jumped to someone else mm-hmm. and I know that they're just going to slot straight in because we did all the right things as well. Lying so up, I know there's yeah. going to be a time when. I'll get a high caliber athlete Definitely. jump to me yeah, and they're already doing it. It's just the way I think and the way I act and the whatever that they're like, all right, let's try this and see where we land. Yeah. So it is really, I don't want to say it depends, but you know, I've given you yep. examples anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I reckon it's probably 12 months though. Like it should be a 12 month commitment to the whole thing. Like you're going to be doing a lot of things before it, I think to even have a go. You can't just like get up off the couch one day and just go, I'm going to do a bodybuilding show. Yeah. Like, and then just compete. Like you just can't, like yeah. you can, but like it won't yeah. be a good time. To live the lifestyle thing, I think you need to do that for 12 months. Yeah. From well, what it, I've seen, like, you you work with them too, but seeing like not bodybuilding population, like non-competitors, mm. what you need to do to get results versus what you need to do to compete are not the same thing. No. So I think you can cruise along getting pretty good results. Mm. Absolutely. And then... We're, I think we're a, a perfect example of that. Yeah. You need to then go, no, there's another level here. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm well, I'm a perfect example of that. It's like the last 12 weeks have been great, but mm. it's de- nowhere near it a standard for prep. Yeah. Still yeah. had people over for lunch on Sunday. We yeah. ate the same food. Yeah. I had cake with my godson. Yeah. Like, that's not... But I still look great. Yeah, and I'm yeah, still yeah. making progress. Yeah, that is not the same. The same yeah. is they come over, you cook for them, and you eat your own fucking yeah, food. Yeah, it's Tupperware. Yeah, yeah. And then when they leave, you go to the gym or do your cardio or whatever. Yeah, it's not what happened. Yeah, I was fucking tired from the Saturday, so I just didn't do shit. <laughs> yeah, I think I took Matt for a walk around the block, and that yeah. was for him, not me. Yeah. So that's what I mean. It's like, it's just different, man. When yeah. you know that there's, you've got a land of physique in a condition that is just so extreme, and it takes so much, and it's on a day mm. that just takes so much more so then if you're nowhere near that standard yeah it's it's just yeah like power to you good luck mm. it's like the telling the barber what your big three are yep it's like the barber's done the squat before mm. so it's like oh I like squatted 230 like oh yeah, oh, yeah. cool I'm like yeah yeah rah. <laughs> the, and that's similar it's like yeah because I've done a squat before I know what the squat is. I know what I benched. Yeah. I benched two plates, bro, one time when I was yeah. 20 years ago. Like everyone's got that little bit of taste of what a yeah. barbell movement is. Yeah. And then you can also go for a lifestyle client. It's like, I've done a deficit before. Yeah. I've trained before. I've yeah. seen my abs before. I've yeah. built my glutes over three years before. Like, Yeah, yeah I've, 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 done, I've done the thing. I've done the thing that bodybuilders yeah. do before Mm. to a just a different kind of Mm. scale my my own schedule yeah 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 my own schedule and my own compliance yeah yeah i think watching all your guys go through this prep has reminded me of how 
hard it actually is. Mm. And I remember like back in the day, like watching your prep and stuff, being in a position where I was just like, fuck, my clients had better prove to me that they're like, we used to have like the prep checklist and all that shit. Mm. Mm. Like you fucking have to show man that this is, this isn't Mm. a fuck around, man. This isn't, it's it's above everything. This isn't going to the gym. It's not the same. It's above everything. Yeah. Yeah. And no one documents the last month because it fucking hurts. Yeah. And they can't be bothered. Yeah, they're too tired to. <laughs> yeah. The, the last month it. hurts, man. Yeah. It hurts so bad. Yeah. You know, you're waking up at 2 a.m., like your sex drive's not, not minimal, yeah. if, if anything. Yeah. You, you're tired all the time, mm-hmm. you're hungry, and you still got to train. Yeah. And you still got to do your cardio. It's just like, it's just- And not just fucking like move weight either. No, no, you got like to work train. hard. You got to work hard. Yeah. 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 And yeah, that, and that's where, yeah, you just got to want it just more than anything yeah and you can't do that you can't work to that level if everything if just showing up isn't normal yeah showing up with your nutrition showing up with your training showing yeah. up with your steps like if all of that stuff's not normal like if you're not filling in all the data in your check-in right now yeah and you're not living forward thinking your nutrition and planning yeah. your training and planning your cardio like you're not going to be able to get there when it gets tough you're just going to stop yeah you know it's just going to be too hard yeah so that's yeah no one knows what that feels like until they've been there, mm. you know. And no one's yeah going to sit there and be like, yeah, I woke up at three a.m. and then four a.m. and I feel like shit. And, yeah, you know, because no one can, well, no one wants to watch it anyway. Well, no one, yeah, no one wants to watch it. And <laughs> yeah, that just post your physique in the morning, fake smile. You, you and also you don't want to share it because you don't want to get into that just negative cycle of, of like this sucks. Yeah, like what do you think would be the hardest part for you? Uh, the energy levels. Yeah, yeah, and the brain power. Yeah, mm. it's going to be hard to just be like, if I did it at like one o'clock onwards, it's like, <laughs> it's going to be hard, guys. You all heard it. Yeah, you but it's like at it. one o'clock, it's like, it's going to be tough to be like at 1 p.m. onwards, like I'm not, like my brain doesn't work. Not good, yeah. Yeah, so trying to set up everything to just be like that, it's going to be hard. That's yeah. the thing that's pushing back. That's the only thing I have now because it's I don't have the excuses anymore. Mm. You said it was going to be fine business-wise <laughs> and Steph said I could do it. So now I'm like, I just want to make sure I'm a good coach. Yeah, and I want to make sure I have yeah everything to Still show give up for work to give to them because realistically it doesn't change anything for me. It's just uh, this is just the goal that I have. Yeah. So, yeah. but it's like I don't want it to affect the thing that I've worked so hard to build, which is my business. Agreed. And my my status and reputation as a physique athlete. Uh, yeah. Sorry, a physique coach because it's taken a long time. I, like it hasn't been the mm. the meteoric climb to fame. You know, it's yeah, been a yeah. fucking slog over a long time to show people I'm good at what I'm good at yeah. my job. You had to do it not being an elite athlete yeah that's harder. it I didn't yeah yeah that's it I probably would have expedited if I competed more but yeah it just wasn't that just wasn't the path for me yeah so I don't want to fuck that up but I also know that I'm good at like I'm this, like this is the thing that I'm good at mm. you know I've dedicated my whole hobby yeah to bodybuilding so I'm like sometimes I'm like well fuck maybe I should have a go to show it off now yeah so, yeah so yeah the, who knows and it yeah. just everything just keeps coming up holidays and yeah. things, you know like just things you really like it's important uh, an important part of life at our age yeah As i know we sound old <laughs> but it's like you know this this talks of family holidays there's talks of overseas this and yeah. even my clients are thinking about competing overseas and stuff and i'm like oh if that happens man i'm like i'm ditching this whole thing yeah for me yeah like it's just not that important yeah <laughs> yeah aren't we all going to vegas that's what i heard i hope so yeah yeah, I hope so. And I wouldn't mind going with Matt to Japan. Yeah. Um, for myself as well, like just to see and then obviously, mm. you know, the manifesting. Yeah. For my guys. Be in the room. Yeah. Yeah. So just like, it's like, what is it? I got to be in that room. And even yep. if it is like up the back in the, on the sidelines, like just peeping over the top. Like, yeah, it's yeah. just like, I want to be there to just, yeah, get amongst that and start to make that a reality. Because yep. uh, there's discussions already, like Asian tours and, you know, overseas Europe, like yeah, some of my guys have got their eyes set on that. So I want to start dipping my toes into that that yeah. realm as much as, as as soon as I can. Mr. Worldwide. And that, yeah, that takes my own yeah makes hard, pursuits right? out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm prepared to do because that goal is more important. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think outside, obviously, of lifestyle, family, work, <laughs> <laughs> just like the actual struggle of the thing, like say those things would fall into place. Mm. Just, I would so, 
I would really battle with getting that quote unquote small. Yeah, it's, it would fuck yeah, me up. It's uh, yeah, I I don't know, man. It's hard to describe. You like want it to be like hard, and you know that that's the byproduct of it, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it's just I can't I can't explain. I was saying this to Jackson the other day. I'm like, I don't care what my food tastes like. I know it tastes crap, and I but I love it. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. like I'm tired. Yeah. And everything's hard, and it's like, but that's the, f- it's the, f- uh, it's like it's not, it's fun, but it's not. I don't know, it's yeah, hard. Yeah. It's like the, when you're in it, you're like, this is where exactly where I should be. Yeah. And then you relish in it because you're like, there's so many people out there that can't do this. Yeah. Aren't willing to do it, and then you thrive on it even more. Yeah. You know? It's like um, I I went to one of Kobe Bryant's TED talks, mm-hmm. and he, and he used to talk about how he used to wake up at three a.m. and go for a run. Yeah. And then he used to do his weights and hit the gym and he'd be like, I'd be running through the streets and he's like, and I just have this fucking huge smile on my face just because like I'm doing something that no one else can do. Yeah. And he's like, and that just gave me more more fuel to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's just like you know, like I'm I'm built different. Mm-hmm. And it's a bit like that. Yeah. 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 And then the body the just the body dysmorphia for me would be Yeah. The but that's, thing to overcome. Yeah, of course. And that but that's yeah was because like you you put the size on and got huge, you know, yeah. because you were the small dude and I get it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I understand that. Mm. But you look good, but in a pair of boardies. But yeah. I'll train legs for a year first. Come on. These ones? Bring them back. Can They've can been there before. It's okay. <laughs> Fuck you now. So uh, my new guy's just really asleep. Yeah. <laughs> I trained him hard for like three weeks. <laughs> Proud of you, man. Thanks. I'll keep chipping away. Yeah. I didn't enjoy it, but I did. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> uh are we how are we doing for time? Oh. Two minutes. Awesome. Uh anything else? Passing, finishing. Good luck to you guys on the weekend. Yeah. Um, which this will come out afterwards, but yeah. They'll listen to it on, the, on the fortnight. They'll listen to it on the Wednesday afterwards. <laughs> yeah. All the best. You can go that. on my Instagram, see if they did any good. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. All right, we'll wrap it up then. Thanks for listening, guys. Perfect opportunity to hit that follow button, um, support the mission, and yeah, let us know. I did have questions, so keep the questions coming in if there is anything that you want us to talk about. Like I said, we're on the hunt for some guests, so they will be coming over the next months once our schedule kind of settles down a little bit with like travel and and clients and stuff. Um, But yeah, thanks for listening. Grab your copy of the Fat Loss Cheat Sheet on the website, everything you need to know uh, to get shredded and stay shredded if that's what you want. Um, So yeah, that's it. Enjoy and see you next time.